Welcome back to Force Education, this is At. Today we're going to be giving another update on Bionanogenomics. If you haven't done so, please make sure to drop a like to this video to help this channel grow, subscribe, and leave notifications on. I've covered this one multiple times before, so you'll find my previous video in the description below. I recommend you watch it after this one. I'll be covering any other updates, specifically technical analysis. Let's jump right into this one. So on a due diligence here, quickly, what we get to see is, well, yes, we do know about their $200 million offering. And if you do recall, they did have another 101 before, $101.8 million. That puts them around somewhere around $302 million net. And that definitely does pay off their entire debt. Other SEC filings aren't really uh, showing other much. So we know that their net proceeds is $230 million generally. And then... That added to 101 comes out around around uh, 330 million, but that is already closed on January 22nd. Now, a couple of things here is that their financials, if you go to the quarterly, their total debt in general is going to be off around 26 million. So it's easily off paid off. Now, the next thing here is in terms of statistics, this one price over sales is 365. The SP500 average is 3, so it's 100 and something, 120 times more than the average. Price over book here is almost around 100. The SP500 is around uh, 2 or 3 again, so this is around 50 times more than SP500 average. But this one really tells you, it doesn't tell you that this company is just overvalued, it just tells you it's trading on intrinsic value of future operations. So that is basically the main stew about uh, the due diligence here quickly as an update. But now we're going to go on to technical analysis. There's a lot to cover there. Make sure if you haven't done so, please subscribe and notifications on. It helps me a bunch. Now on a one week perspective, things are actually looking really good. Momentum is at 931 and that is a strong push forward. MACD is increasing and hasn't decreased yet. William percent R is showing an overbought situation here. And the ADX is sitting at 53.34. Now, this is one of the second weeks where it's above 50, so you can expect a little bit of a reversal here. When I'm saying reversal, I'm saying, sorry, I mean a pullback, not a massive reversal. And that is expected. Expected. I'll show you exactly how to trade this because it is following a really good pattern. That SMA is above 30 MA, and that is a bullish thing. And it's above the 50 SMA, which is amazing. Now, on a one-day perspective, things are looking really good. So... Basically, the 10 SMA is above 30 MA on the moving averages. The trading action zone is between the 720 and the 464. Now, it hasn't been tested yet, but every time it just touched that trading action zone or got close around here and here, it just bounced right back. So that's good. 50 SMA is above the 200 SMA, and so the moving averages do look bullish. Now, on an ADX perspective, it's been above 50 for a while, so nothing to worry about that. I'll just brush it off. MACD looks like stable. Momentum looks at 485. It looks pretty good. And the willing percent R is overbought. So that's a little bit dangerous. Now on a two hour perspective, things are looking better. MACD looks like it is attempting uh, a really good push over there. ADX shows in a very strong trend, bullish trend here. And willing percent R is showing overbought. Now take a quick look on the moving averages. 10 SMA is above the 30 EMA and it's above the 50 SMA. Every time it goes into the trading action zone, it always attempts a positive reversal. So trading action zone is between the green and the red line, which is the 10 SMA and the 30 EMA. And then every time it breaks through there, it touches 50 SMA and bounces right back. So on a two hour perspective, you can trade this really nice, have a first entry into trading action zone and one on 50 SMA. That sounds like a good trade there. Moving averages. This one doesn't really follow the moving averages. Haven't done so in a while. But Bollinger sits at 1080. And on the top, negative 0.52 on the bottom. The moving averages for the sake of the argument. It's still increasing and that's good. And actually there's a gap in there. Uh, it's basically increasing in width. And that is good. So 565, 514, and 463 on top, middle, and bottom respectively. Now stochastic fast and stochastic slow. The fast is showing a uh, potential run another run here the slow is showing an accumulation possible period now moving on towards fibonacci retracements and fibonacci uh, supports and resistances we get to see here that a significant support currently lies in 994 787 624 510 395 254 and 25 cents reason why i said support and not a resistance is because it did actually run in the extended hours and so it is currently above there and so for now, 
We need to find the significant supports and resistances using a price line action. Significant support sits at 1050. Significant resistance currently sits at the 999 or 995. Below there, we're looking down at 947. Below there, we're looking at 898. Below there, we're looking down at 807. 752. 715. We drop all the way down to 591. 505. 442, 405, 348, 272, 202, and then all the way down to 162. Now, quick thing about this one here is where I was talking regarding the channel or the basically pattern. It actually does really follow a really strong trend line on the bottom here. It has multiple touching phases. That is amazing there. And currently it did do just that where it basically bounces off from the 1050 it's dropping down so you can expect for it to on monday to start trading between 1064 on the top and 911 and it can easily bounce from there and the bottom is 782 so so far it hasn't broken that bottom pattern yet and that is amazing that's something to really consider draw a price draw a trend line into the bottoms uh, on the one hour perspective onto a one month period and it is really following this one significantly it looks like it's a streamline and you can easily trade this one in and out through or you can just hold it for a long term now what is my perspective for this one on a longer term things are clear for me this one for uh, genome mapping that is a little bit bullish in there uh, it's a game changer based on all the prs we're getting i myself i'm not a technical in that field i'm a civil engineer so the exact details of how it will disrupt the markets i'm not sure but as also someone in academia i'm able to say well it definitely will help a lot of researching now generally speaking this technology does look somewhat it does look bullish it has patents behind it something like 100 patents um, and in the long term you can probably see a better uh, sorry a nice run now this one ran from 25 cents to what is 1050 currently that is a massive massive run so expect pullbacks here and there and in terms of how far it will run if the intrinsic value doesn't or sorry the actual value doesn't match that intrinsic value remember the intrinsic value it's currently around 50 times more overpriced than the market average and um that's not i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm saying if the actual uh price doesn't match up to there that could be trouble and what they're trying to do here is they're adding 200 million dollars in terms of uh a public offering and what's that adding is that they're adding cash for cash total assets for total assets it fixes their prices over book so later on you can come and say oh well price over book is only 10 it's not 300 something and so they're trying to basically fix that through a public offering and it's working out for them so the price over book is definitely going to match there the only concern is price over sales needs to uh, up their sales through marketing and uh, different channels that is only my expectations and from the 200 million dollar offering we do expect that they actually will improve their sales as well what do you think about the sticker make sure to mention down in the comments below share subscribe and like you have a wonderful day